Hey, beautiful people. Uh, I hope you're having a beautiful day. Let me pray for you, and then we'll jump into God's Word. God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for Jesus. I just pray that as we read your Word today, that you would speak to us, help us to grow in our faith, help us to love you more, and uh, see more and more your love for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's read the Bible. Our reading today is from Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. You have covered the heavens with your majesty. From the mouths of infants and nursing babies, you have established a stronghold on account of your adversaries in order to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I observe your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is a human being that you remember him, a son of man that you look after him? You made him a little less than God and crowned him with glory and honor. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet all the sheep and oxen, as well as the animals in the wild, the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea that pass throughout the currents of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how magnificent is your name throughout the earth. So yesterday and yesterday and the day before, we looked at how God created man and woman, and we saw how God made them to rule over the earth that he made. So today we read this psalm where it talks about uh, how magnificent God's works are, and um, the capstone of which being man. And, and this is so cool that he made us a little lower than himself, a little lower than the heavenly beings, as some translations put it. When we look at all the things that God created, we should be in awe. We should be in awe of all the stars, the works of his fingers, the moon. Um, it, just seeing all this stuff that God made, we should be in awe. And yet we should be even more in awe of how God made us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Uh, it would be insane, truly insane to think that we are self-made, uh, that we just kind of randomly happen to appear this way. We were painstakingly designed by God, and we are the greatest of all his creations. And that's not speaking egotistically. That's speaking truthfully. God made you special. God made us to reflect his glory in the universe. Um, and that's such an awesome, awesome uh, privilege, responsibility, but it's also just an awe-inspiring thing that God made us to proclaim his magnificent name everywhere we go. So the question is, are you doing that? Are you, are you with your life proclaiming the magnificent name of God wherever you go? And not just with your words, but with your, with your life. Um, are you showing with your life that God made you an awesome being to reflect his awesomeness uh, in the world and in your life to everyone. Uh, so make that your goal. Make it your goal. Make it your aim to glorify God. All of creation does. All of creation will magnify his name. So will you be a willing participant in that? Um, God bless you. Have a great day and magnify his name.